Okay. I think it's better that I do this one as myself rather than the Nickelodeon nutcase. I mean, because the emphasis on this one is going to be Hollywood Heights. And, uh, whew, that, that's just too intense for me to talk about as the Nickelodeon nutcase. I mean, uh, but first off, if you're unfortunate enough to have direct TV, which I fortunately do not, uh, please uh, call them and tell them you demand Nickelodeon back and any other Viacom channels. And uh, I hope they hear your message. I don't know how they think they're going to get away with this. But, uh, yeah, that's... You tell them. Okay, uh, we... Big Time Rush Monday, uh... You know, it was actually f quite funny. There was laughs. Uh... And very good utilization of Melise Zhao and Aaron Sanders. So, the show might just be making a comeback. Uh, anything's possible. Not much to say about that one. So, Hollywood Heights. Whew. Well, intense. Intense. You know what? I am used to the sitcoms that take place over long spans of time. I mean, this episode, each episode has a setting that only spans like a few hours. Just something I'm not used to. But okay, Lauren gets into the contest. Again, these despicable characters, but finally they're getting what is theirs. I mean, Tyler. That friend of Tracy who's been working for Jake, uh, whatever her name is. The office girl seducing Don. Uh, so on, so forth. The list goes on. You know, I've said I think Tyler is the most likable character. Max might be a little more likable. Uh, we shall see where this goes. But if I had to name the least likable character, I would have to go with Tyler. I mean, Adriana and Phil, despicable, yes. But, uh, Tyler's just annoying on top of it. Okay, so. Episode 19, titled Lauren Gets Lost. Obviously predictable what was going to happen. I mean, uh, they get stranded while she's on her way to the club. We knew that, and I expected to, uh, get frustrated with that. I mean, that's an old predictable plot, of course, but it was more frustrating than I anticipated. Like, that and the other plots just had me, uh, I was about to explode. I felt I needed a beer, but there was no beer in the house. So... Okay, they're stranded, and the car won't start. As uh, James Ralph previously mentioned in his uh, top ten stupid cliches, that car won't stop is always the case in a time-sensitive story. So, yeah, they're, and I'm like, she's got her phone, why doesn't she text her mother or call her and then, okay, she leaves the phone in Melissa's car. That explains it. And then Melissa's phone dies. After they finally realize they could have called her. 
And then you've got, uh, the office lady, uh, changing the appointment to keep Don from going to the club, and then seducing her, which, uh, allows him, which, in the long run, allows him to go home early and bust Adriana with the party. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it was good to make her check in after school and make him help out on the staff. Yeah, make her work for once. Then she says, I'll leave on my own. Uh, she says, I'll live on my own. She says, okay, good luck living on your own. Yeah, we'll see where that goes next. And then... The whole thing with the... Uh, Chloe's mom, she runs into her. Okay, so, uh, that's yet to pick up on. So, well, anyway, as soon as Lauren shows up at the club, that's when I, uh, was breathing a sigh of relief and felt, okay, I'm... I was able to relax after that. So, okay. And then, uh, yeah, Chloe runs into her mother and, uh, we'll see where that goes. And then, uh, Lauren runs out on stage. And Nora walks out to talk to her, and then so does, uh... Eddie. We'll see what he says to her in the next episode. Yes. We will. We will see. And, uh... The angle with Daphne and Max hanging out with Nora. Okay. You can see how I feel. This is an intense show. Okay. Yeah, I'm panting. Okay. Well. Good night. Gonna mop the kitchen. Call the night.